He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. This is the word of the Lord. All those whom I love, I correct and discipline. Therefore, shake off your complacency and repent. See, I stand knocking at the door. If anyone listens to my voice and opens the door, I will go into his house and dine with him, and he with me. Let's open our hearts to the Lord. God, our Father, we have done wrong, and we do not deserve to be called your children. We have turned from your way and have been taken in by our own desires. We have not loved our neighbors as you commanded. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy on us and forgive us for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Hear and believe the good news. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Let us forgive one another. And the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. According to Luke, when our risen Lord was at the table with his disciples, he took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened and they recognized him. Remember the Lord Jesus Christ. And that night that he was betrayed, he took bread and he broke it. God, good Father, we thank you for the gift of life and for the world, our home. We thank you for your loving kindness to us and to all men. Your works are great and wonderful. Your ways are just and true, and you alone are holy. We praise you for your Son, Jesus, who shared our weakness and was tempted in every way as we are who obeyed you by suffering and dying for us. You have raised him to rule the world and given him a name above every name, Lord and Christ. We praise him and we glorify you, great God, our Father. Now give us your spirit in the breaking of bread so that by your power we may be drawn together and made one with Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Take the element, peace of Christ be with you. Pass it through. Peace of Christ be with you. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. Let us pray. In that same manner, Jesus took the cup after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me.
this supper shared in the Spirit with your Son, Jesus, who makes us new and strong and brings us life eternal. We praise you for giving all good gifts in him and pledge ourselves to serve you, even as you have served us in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will not be walking in the dark. He will have the light of life. As we have just received the body and the blood of Christ, we are commanded to do this in remembrance of what Jesus Christ has done for us. But also, what we are doing is we are presenting ourselves before God. We are looking at God and saying, remember me. As we have confessed, as we have confessed our sins before him, we are holy and righteous to stand in his presence. We are holy and righteous because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. As Jesus sits at his right hand, God turns and sees Jesus, and he hears our prayers. And he looks at what his son has done for us. So as we stand before God and present ourselves, as we ask our God to remember us, he tells us to remember him. For as he looks at Jesus and see what Jesus, see what he was willing to do, we look to Jesus knowing what he has done for our sins. Let us pray. Father God, Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, as we come before you, we thank you and we praise you. We know that you have heard us. We know that you have forgiven us.